Um, that has a name, you know, in math. I think I heard it earlier. John, I think you said something about conjunction, junction, what you function. Oh, I heard you wrong. I heard you wrong. No. You said it function. rhymed with a word that means the same function. thing. Function. Thank you. I thought you I had did. I to say the whole thing. I thought you did. Over here, a name for these in math would be a function. <coughs> now, they look a little different sometimes when I see them in math. They may not have words in them, okay? How else? Um, let me do this first before we do that. On this chart right here, this age piece is what I'm putting in to my function. I could easily, instead of say age, have said in for that, right? And then over here, when I put in a 49, and you might have heard me slip and say this earlier, when I put in a 49, if I follow the same rule, I always should get opposite of in is out a 31 and a half, right? So another way to say those columns over here would be my out, right? A function is a lot like a factory, okay? In my mind, I, I keep those together. Um, what happens in a car factory? If I want to make a car, what's a part I got to put in the factory, Austin? Engine, okay? Boom, 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 I put an engine into the factory. What else do I need, Brianna? Windshield. Windshield. What else do I need, Brittany? Tires. Tires. I put all those things in, ba 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 ba, -ba out comes a car. a car, right? Same with a function in math. I, put, I have this factory here, or this function, okay? I put in the 49, I get out the 31 and a half, right? Now if I put in um, a Prius engine, and a Prius windshield, and a Prius, what did you say again? Tires, Tires okay? I would expect that I'm gonna get out of what? A Prius, a Prius right? Not a, not a Chevy, right? Same with a function, like we said earlier, if I put in a 49, if I follow that rule, I ought to get out a 31 and a half, right? For this rule, if I put in the 49, I ought to always get out 84. Everybody see that? Everybody good with that? Now, I'm gonna challenge you one more step. I said over here that these don't always have words like we did. This was pretty easy for us to translate, right? When we read her problem, it made sense to put younger and older and all this stuff, right? right but now, letters. you're not going to see that very often on your task exam, okay? Instead of older, what could I put in to stand for the age that I'm putting in? What could I use? Anybody know? Uh, I could write X. this like this. <laughs> ah, who said that? I said. X. Why? Where'd X come from, John? I said X, not Y. <laughs> and I'm asking why. Uh, <laughs> I put a couple other letters on it, though, W and H. All right. <laughs> so where'd X come from? It's just part of algebra. What the hell is algebra? I mean, we haven't talked about algebra today, have we? No, no Janet. Yes, we have. We just didn't know it. All right. Um, so what does X stand for? Uh, X over here. It stands for what up here? Uh, older. We put it in for the older age, the age, right? So yeah. X is the age. So another way I could write this is X, right? Instead of in or age, I could put X, right? Then you can use Y. And so what you're saying to me is if my X becomes 49, I put 49 in here and take half of it and then add seven, and I get out that 31 and a half, right? Yeah. Okay. You might also see this letter. A Y. A Y. I knew it. Smarty pants. All right? Um, and think about that a minute. We'll come back to this probably. You'll come back to this with Janet um, another day, if you haven't already. Um, if you take those 49s and those 31s and a halves, those X's and Y's, if they're now called X's and Y's, what can I do with them on a little piece of graph paper? We can do, you can uh, plot, them out. I can plot points, can't I? Because yeah. I know I would go 49 out on my X, and then I'd go how far up on my Y line? 31, 31 and a half, dot, right? And then I'd plot the next point, dot. What do you think all those dots will make? 
A line. A line. Okay. A line. And those lines will have slopes. So all that algebraic garbage actually means something in real life. Okay. It is a picture of what's happening with a bunch of numbers if you follow a rule. That's all a function is. Okay. A function in math is a rule that you follow. Okay. We talked about it being youngest age equals half your older plus seven. We could easily have said y is equal half of x plus seven, where y is that youngest age and x is that older person that we're talking about. Okay. All right. Big deal. Does it make sense? <laughs> so give me an n. Thirty. Thirty. What will you get out? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. If I were to come over here and write it like that, then I would start with. Y. y or f of, f of x, right? They're going to equal, what's my rule? Uh, plus 9. X plus 9. Right. I'm doing plus 9, whatever I put in, and my n is an x, right? Yeah. So Now, by the way, we didn't talk about the choice of x. Did we have to pick an x to, stay, to stand in for that number? What could we have picked? Have n. N, L. How many different letters? How many in the alphabet? A, so 26. 26. Yeah, 26 letters in the alphabet, right? We have 26 choices. I suppose we could get really creative and use symbols too, Does right? Okay. Know that? All right. Um, know that? What are they called? I don't know. What is x called in that kind of a, a setup here and a function? Anybody know its name? Uh, Starts with a V, and it has it has a very appropriate name. Variable. What? Does it mean if something is variable? Like if, if the weather forecaster comes on to you and says the weather is variable today, what do they mean? It's changeable, right? Could go from sunny to rainy to sunny to rainy to cold. You know, you live in the North Country, right? Okay. Same situation here. X is a variable because it can change, can it? It was six. It became twelve and a half. It became two. It became ten. It became all kinds of different things. But every time, no matter what it changed to, what did I still do? I added the 9, right? I followed my function or my rule, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. I have another rule in my mind. Okay. Also called a what? Variable. No. It'll have one in it, but a rule is called a function, oh. right? Okay? And it has variables in them, right? A variable, okay? So I have that function in my brain. It has a variable in it. You're going to fill my variable in. You're going to tell me the in. I'm going to tell you the out, or the y, or the f of x, right? Your job is to guess the rule. If you know the rule, John, what do you do? Show your little brain. <laughs> you give me an... If you know the rule, you give me an... In or an out. Oh, okay. You give me a what? Oh, am I going? No, I'm just saying if you know the rule, you're going to give me, give me a yeah. in. And I'm going to ask you to tell me the out. out. You won't tell me the rule. You'll tell me the in and the out. Got it? I know. I like picking on you. Okay. So I have my rule. There we go. I'm doing it for everybody else. All right. So I have my rule. Okay. Um, give me an in, Brianna. Three. Three. You got a nine out. Okay. How about an in, Brett? I'll make these smaller so they fit better. Nine. <coughs> You're going to put a nine in? Okay, Kyle. Uh, are you giving me an in or do you think you know the rule? I know the rule. Okay, give me the in. Um, I'm going to pick four. What would the out be? Twelve. John. No, I didn't have my hand up. Okay. Eight. Another in. Amy, give me an in. Uh, five. Five? Oh, you know the rule. Yeah, you? I do. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're no. right. No. Yes. Yes, yeah. you're right. You're right. You know, it's an old computer. Give it a minute, oh, all right? Yeah. It has to reboot and function and think for a second. Yes, you're good. <laughs> okay, you know the rule? Yeah, uh, Awesome. Anybody else know the rule? Um, Six. I'm listening. Thirty-six. <coughs> no. Wait, no. Eighteen. There we go. Eighteen. Yes. 
What is my rule? Times three. Times three. So if I were writing that algebraically, what would I start with? Uh, f and x. F and x. Alpha back. Or I could start with a y. Y. Other half over here, this side of the room. What comes next? What's this column? The x. And what am I doing to my x? Let them talk. <laughs> Multiply by three. How would we show that? I could. And then I put a what out here? Is there another way to write that, Austin, you think? Do I have to use those parentheses? So I could just have said 3x. That also means to multiply, doesn't it? Yeah. Right? What didn't I do, though, guys? What didn't I put in between the 3 and the x that you're used to seeing sometimes? Well, I did there. Uh, the I didn't put the multiplication sign. Look at why. Yeah. This looks like how many yeah. x's? Two. 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 It actually looks like take three, take the end, the multiply second. it by the end again. Oh, oh my. Janet's talking Thank so Thank you, well. Janet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we don't do the X because the X looks too much like X, right? We do either a dot or we do parentheses or we just or put just them next to each other. Okay? We just can put them next to each other. That does mean to multiply. Okay? I always wow. Dot means divide, so wow. I put them next to each other. You guys are good. Hi, I'm Alex Pacific from St. Lawrence Lewis Poesis. Today was June 9th. Um, we worked on functions by applying Maxine's rule, and my teacher is a computer.